Today's episode is brought to you by Bones Coffee Company. You can forget about boring coffee when you drink Bones Coffee. Not only do they offer a variety of flavors such as strawberry cheesecake and maple bacon, they are a family-owned company that puts great detail not only in their coffee, but in the artwork that comes on each individual bag. Bones Coffee has a coffee club that will deliver your favorite coffee to your door every month. If that wasn't enough, they also have some amazing swag to offer. Check out Bones Coffee Company today. I'll have my affiliate links in the show notes for you. Hi guys, so over here, I found an interesting cold case that was solved uh, recently, and uh, I thought I would talk to you about it. I've titled this video, Styrofoam Cup Catches Cold Case Killer. And uh, I was like, say that 10 times fast. But uh, so that's what we're gonna be talking about today. Of course, I am drinking an iced uh, Bones coffee. I am actually drinking the French vanilla flavor today. Isn't that cute? Uh, so make sure and check out the affiliate link for Bones Coffee Company. They've got all kinds of wonderful coffees, uh, all kinds of fun swag. Even their even their bags are have beautiful artwork on them. Uh, so check those out. And uh, when you check out an affiliate link or buy one of my books online, um, all of that helps me make more videos for you. So I appreciate it. And I thank you in advance. Make sure and check out Bones Coffee. Um, so today I'm going to talk to you about a cold case out of Pennsylvania that happened in 2012. March 24th, 2012 at 3.36 a.m., um, a, a man called Julio Torres, he was 34 years old, got into an altercation with two men. Um, and then a moment later, he was sitting in his vehicle in the parking lot of West Reading Diner, and he was shot to death um, on March 24th, 2012. Now, one man was named um, I'm going to mispronounce this. this is probably Jomaine uh, case. He was arrested for being involved, but they had found some specific evidence. And one of them was a chewed up styrofoam cup. And, uh, but the DNA didn't match Jomaine. And so he was arrested for his, his part in this. But since 2012, no one has been able to figure out who the actual shooter was. So the actual uh, gunman was never identified in this case when cold. So Jomaine uh, was arrested and, and, uh, you know, he, he was convicted on his part, but nobody could figure out who this other guy was. Now, the in November of last year, in November of 2023, um, the local police department there was looking through the evidence and they found a photograph, uh, a photo, somebody had snapped a picture on their phone of this group and the, the unknown gunman was there. And so they used facial recognition software to recognize who this person was. And they believed it was Vallis Slaughter. Now, Vallis Slaughter was 39 years old. He didn't live in Reading, but he was visiting Reading at the time. Now, um, they, they couldn't really prove that this was him. They couldn't go by this. Um, so they followed him. And in, in uh, February of this year, uh, they were following this man and he decided to smoke and drop a cigarette butt. They collected the DNA from that cigarette butt and lo and behold, it actually matches, it matched, matches. <laughs> It actually matched the DNA, the unknown DNA off of that styrofoam cup. So uh, this guy liked to chew on his styrofoam cup. He left his DNA and he he got convicted of, of killing um, Julio Torres. So right now, Slaughter is being held at Hudson County Correctional in Jersey waiting on extradition. So I see all of these cold cases coming through on my newsfeed and my email and everything else. And I've got Google alerts for cold cases and, and they're always solved by DNA, solved by DNA, solved by DNA. Solved. And, and, and there's nothing unusual about it, but this is the first one that I've heard that the killer chewed on a cup and they finally matched the DNA because he chewed on a styrofoam cup. So I thought that was a little bit interesting. So I thought, okay, I will share this one with you. And hopefully this man is, uh, is convicted and uh, Julio Torres can have justice. So I'll see you next time and watch out. Don't chew on styrofoam cups if you plan on killing anybody. <laughs>